Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to learn about the extensions and the configuration management of your virtual machines. As you know, as of now, we have created multiple virtual machines and we know that how to create the virtual machines. But have you ever think about uh, how can we go for a, a standardization of those virtual machine settings? When I say settings, uh, we are talking about multiple things like applications. Let's say uh, XYZ application should be automatically available when you create the virtual machine or maybe antivirus or it should be automatically taken care by backups or your application settings. Let's say a specific settings must be configured automatically on your virtual machines. Also, your operating system settings or maybe your application monitoring and your infrastructure monitoring all these things how best you can actually uh, go for a configuring the configurations so this is where it actually helps us the extensions as we have talked a little bit in a different lectures about the extensions but in this lecture we're gonna actually have a look on the extensions when we go back to any of the virtual machines uh, and you have the extensions here when you click on the extensions add you are getting actually different extensions that can be added some of them are actually coming from a third party some of them are a common things like you can go for a custom script extension uh, to perform some kind of a script that should be doing automatically it might be a batch or maybe a powerful script that you wanted to execute on your virtual machine as soon as it's created or maybe once it is created when you're working you wanted to uh, automatically execute this specific script without actually you log into the virtual machine or you can run some kind of PowerShell scripts also so when we talk about these kind of extensions this will make our job little easy when we talk about any of these kind of you know settings that to be automatically configured this is where microsoft introduced uh, extensions right so within these extensions there is a dedicated extension called powershell dsc or desired configuration you see here you have the powershell desired configuration uh, this is nothing but a, a specific state called desired state we call it so within that specific state the virtual machine always should be available if not found any of the application or maybe application configuration or monitoring agent or backup is not configured or anything it's go ahead and it will be automatically doing that of course for that you need to actually create your a script that will actually do all these things so the script language would be powershell so you are going to actually write a normal powershell script but any standard format called powershell desired state configuration or dsc we call it so within this format you are going to create it but let's talk about uh, the real world in the real world we have different extensions when is extensions these are from a different companies like Chiv or puppet for the automation of any kind of configurations that we talked in the previous slide all these settings or applications can be fully automated with the chef or puppet and the major advantage with the chef and puppet would be you can actually do from a single console whereas with the DSC you have to do it each machine layer and these two are considered as the enterprise in fact the DSC also but uh, but we see mostly each, uh, either chef or puppet would be used in our enterprises let's also talk about the custom scripts for a minute about the benefits and the drawbacks when we go back to virtual machines and the extensions you can actually use the custom scripts also this is where actually you are gonna show up the way you have your script so there's no local domain credentials needed when you actually added your custom scripts and you can directly use these scripts as it is executing in the back end with the built-in agent which is executing on the specific virtual machines and the major drawback would be uh, for this would be you must have to enable on at each vm level and also it needs the internet access if you are using any kind of github or a blob storage for scripts you need to actually show up them and these scripts can be actually pulled from your storage account or directly from the github and these are relatively slow in terms of the execution when we compared with the um, chef or 
puppet specific configurations so uh, you have these options so let's uh, focus more into the dsc this is a sample dsc script that's nothing but the, again a partial based like uh, uh, you see here this is a configuration um, which is talking about who who is doing or what is doing and then the node which is going to be a local host and the features which is going to be installed windows uh, features called is and it they will ensure that whether it is uh, present and the name is web server so within this uh, features whether this is a simple uh, professional script that you can easily understand that uh, windows uh, features if uh, whether is nothing but a web server is present or not so that's what it's gonna uh, monitor and that's what it's uh, going to be ensure that it will check for the present option 